in any way an authority on Formula One when I started the film. So together, my job was I was supposed to try and make it a movie. And as I started looking at footage, I did an edit, and the first edit was seven hours long. <laughs> <laughs> then there was a five-hour cut that we actually showed at the cinema in London, which you had to bring lunch and stuff. But, uh, but it was worth it, I thought. I thought it was good. Um, then we had a three-hour cut. Now, the thing is, we only had permission for 40 minutes of archive footage. The rest of the film was meant to be interviews. And so every minute above 40, we had to pay another 50 or 60 thousand dollars to Bernie. So I was showing this film to the studio that was millions over budget, like just stupidly over budget. But my gut instinct was, this is the only way to do it. I can't interview Senna now. I don't want to make a film with everybody else's opinion of it. And we have to find a way for him to narrate his own life story. He's the most intelligent guy. He's the most eloquent guy. He's, he knows what he was thinking at that moment. I don't want someone now guessing what Senna was thinking. 